Hello, welcome to this year's X-Men month, where for the month of June, we review X-Men comics, right? So last year, we had this this review series on camera. This year, uh, due to a series of bad luck, uh, and I don't want to use my phone, <laughs> uh, these are going to have to be audio reviews only, and, bec you know, and... You know, I couldn't find a lot of screenshots, so this is just going to be for for, uh, for this video. We're only going to show the covers, but that's okay because like the cover, the same artist who did the cover did the interior art, so it's okay. All right. So yeah, we're reviewing the first three for X Men month. We're we're reviewing the first three issues of mutant x which i got like all six all sorry not all six the first six issues for like 24 bucks which is kind of a ripoff so far <laughs> yeah this this comics uh these comics first came out in 1998 uh, written by howard mount mackie who worked on i think he worked on spider-man and he did the danny catch uh ghost rider and we have art by tom rainey right yeah, so the this comic book series, I don't know much about it, other than it's somewhat related to the TV, the the Fox TV series from the same name, even though these are completely different characters. Which, for people who don't know, back in the late '90s when Fox first acquired X Men, they had a, this, they had their first X Men show, which was called Mutant X. Where it was basically, it was pretty much the same thing as X Men, but they changed the names of the characters and their powers, and uh, they got like it's there's no there were no costumes, you, and you had like soap, bad, bad Canadian like soap opera actors, <laughs> so kind of cringe. I remember when watching like Moon X as a kid, I'm like, what the. What the hell is this X-Men ripoff? And it turns out, yeah, they had the rights to X-Men. <laughs> so it's like, why? They even had their own version of the Blackbird, if you ever watched the show. All right. So uh, as far as I know, this, this comic series has nothing to do with the Mutant X show, other than this, this comic series uh, takes place in an alternate Marvel universe, right? So the the so the let's just go into first the first issue. So the first issue is about how Havoc apparent Havoc, who was the leader of of the uh, X Factor before uh, Jamie Madrox, right? Uh, d supposedly died uh, during uh, during um, he died. Uh, when he was trapped on a out of control jet carrying a makeshift space time distor distortion device, right? Which sent his soul or whatever into the into the body of an Alex Summers on an alternate Marvel universe, right? Where Alex Summers is the leader of an X uh, of a X-Men mutant team called the Six, which has which has um, Havoc as the leader, Marvel Woman, which is his wife, called uh, whose name is Madeline Pryor. You have the instead of the Hank McCoy being the 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 beast, he's called the brute, and he's because of experimentation experimenting on himself, he's dumb, but now he has like. He's part like fish man, part like you know, beast. Part he has hooves, even though he can swim. It's like how the f how the hell do you s swim with hooves, buddy? You have Bloodstorm, which is a vampire version of Storm, who has the same powers, but she also has vampire powers because she was bit by Dracula. And you have uh, an enchanted Ice Man, who because because of a f uh, of a counter with Loki. His, he's always in ice mode and he, he he's in constant danger of freezing people right and the last member of the team is the fallen which is basically archangel but if if uh, 
if Apocalypse didn't give him metal wings, but gave him like vampire, sorry, bat wings, and now he can breathe fire, right? So what happens is that, yeah, Alex Summers' consciousness goes into the Alex Summers of this world when he almost died during an encounter with Sentinels. And the, sen the Sentinels <laughs> look kind of creepy in this uh in this uh you know version uh of uh, sorry in this uh comic book right yeah so yeah what happens is that he gets uh put in into the he gets put into like you know his uh body right and for for the time being he goes along with everything because you know he's not sure if this is some kind of villain plot or whatever right only for him at the end of the issue, he he gets uh, he meets his uh, son Scotty, who has some kind of psychic empathic powers, who can tell right away that yeah, this isn't like my dad. This is somebody else, which is also a subplot here where they have to uh, stop a, a, a batshit crazy Nick Fury from the uh, from. Um, Releasing a, sorry, detonating a bomb a, w with uh, with the legacy virus that's going to turn, that's going to kill every mutant and per person with enhanced biology, which, uh, which apparently he took over like Manhattan or whatever. I've it's been a couple days since I read this, and <laughs> the Madeline and like Alex's son Scotty is there, which they they. With his nanny, which his nanny fucking turns out to be Electra, so that was fucking weird. Okay, now in uh, issue two, which has the same team, right? Um, they the the six go to help out the Fantastic Four from f fighting this alien, this bug bug man alien from a. From an alternate universe called Mute, who's trying to invade Earth with his bugs, right? And the Fantastic Four uh, don't have superpowers in this universe. And also, Reed Richards is kind of dumb. They have like stuff. They have armor suits, so that gives like that gives them kind of their powers. Like you know, uh, Johnny Storm can shoot fire from his hands. Uh, Sue's armor allows her to go invisible. Uh, the Ben's armor allows him to turn into basically he has he's basically like Hulk Buster ar armor and Reed's armor has like you know four four extra arms right yeah so what what happens after the six save the Fantastic Four Alex decides to go to re meet Reed Richards to try to ask to get get his health to take him home. Only for it to turn out that, you know, in this in this universe, uh, Havoc, Alex Summers, cucked <laughs> Reed Richards. So Reed Richards is not exactly happy with, uh, with uh, you know, Alex. And it turns out that, you know, he was actually taken prisoner by Moot, right? Who wants to take Alex, who has, like, psychic powers, who can, knows that Alex is from an alternate universe universe and wants to take over his body right so he could find the key to go to alternate dimensions right yeah so what happens Alex saves him and goes to like you know Reed Richards for help and only for Reed Richards to be like yeah I think you're crazy and calls calls Madeline Summers and basically tells tells her everything right <laughs> And yeah, there's a they, they also name drop Doc Samson, right? Who is the psychiatrist of the Hulk, right? So, <clears throat> so in the third issue, right? Um, which I, f I forgot to mention, there's some w one of the panels in in uh, issue two that it has is like has blank art, which kind of sucks. So it's for the third issue, right? It's, uh, which is called the pack, has like uh, Alex Summers 
convinces, tr tries to convince the team <coughs> to go to his family's cabin in the in the the wilds of Canada, right? Not uh, which he accidentally forces him to go there, not knowing that in this universe. Canada and America are at odds with each other. They're they're constantly having border conflicts, and it turns out they crash into the, the the Canadian wilderness, and they get they get they immediately get attacked by Weapon X rejects, which is uh sa which are savage versions of Wolverine, um, Saber Tooth, and Wild Child, which I've never heard of Wild Child, right? And uh, they. The, the, our team gets captured only for um, only for only for um, this the pack to see Al Alex's powers and and try and basically convince uh, returns the team only for uh, Alex Summers to you know join uh, to help them break it back into Web the Weapon X program and then the and then the Alpha Flight shows up and, you know, friends to arrest everybody. And that's the end of that issue. All right. So what did I think of uh, these comics so far? The art, or at least the cover art, is good. The interior art uh, is a little hit and miss in some panels, especially in the issue 2 and 3. In issue 3, there's like a panel where it's like white background and i think it's white background and the beast is like beast's head is behind alex summers's uh soldier uh soldier fuck you know what i mean right and he has like his nose is missing and he has like a like vampire teeth or whatever which is like what the fuck that that's that's not what we were sh shown uh, that he looked like, right? So that that was fucking weird. I thought for a, for a second some kid owned this comic and wrote, drew like some bullshit on the fucking comic book art, right? Oh my god. Uh, and like yeah, not there's definitely not a lot of action in these comics, and it's kind of like like at first the the comics the comics. Uh, these, you know, comics were interesting because it's like, oh, Alex Summers is on a dark version of the X-Men team, which w we haven't seen that before, right? We have. But it's like, yeah, it's just like, you know, it's like, what the, where the fuck is this comic series going, right? It's kind of like, it, it, it feels like, you know, a le less interesting version of Exiles, which it should be more interesting than X-Files because it's like, because he's stuck there, right? He can't just leave after he completes a task, right? So, I don't know. Um, overall, if I were to give this, this these comics a rating, I would probably give it, like, because uh, I do like the costumes. And I, look, I do like the designs, except for, like, Bloodstorm. Her design is a little weak, but overall, I think the designs for the characters are cool, but it's like, yeah, the the writing's not there, and some of the art is not great, but, like, overall, like, the premise, it's an interesting premise, but it's, like, they're not really doing much with it, other than, like, hey, isn't it wacky? Wacky, we have, like, di you know, different versions of, like, all the famous, you know, characters, or, like, whatever. Like, do something fucking interesting, guys. So, 6 out of 10. Uh, hopefully it gets better for 4, uh, for 4 through 6. Alright, guys, that's it for this review, guys. Peace. And if you guys want me to keep doing this, likes and comments, guys. Okay, sorry. Peace.